what was what was Wednesday like for you being at the drive with one of your guys you had forever for years, you know, like kind of helping him develop his game and kind of how was that how was that feeling for you? You know, it was a great feeling, man, because it didn't end well for us at Memphis with James. Uh, you know, it was it was truly an innocent situation that was taken with James, me and James's mother when I was a high school coach that turned it into something very negative that James had nothing to do with. Obviously, I wasn't trying to hide anything because I felt like I didn't do anything wrong. And it just turned very negatively. And that's unfortunate for the fans. It's unfortunate for our fans. It's unfortunate for our team, our school, that James got 12 games and didn't get a chance to, uh, to play for the rest of the season with us and had to leave early. But we stayed in touch. Uh, when James first came to Memphis from Nashville, put a lot of work and a lot of hours in with him, man. He was determined to be the best. And it wasn't easy. There were a lot of nights that he left the gym crying. Uh, <laughs> he was crying and his mother was like, you know, come home crying, but I told him you got to stick with it. So to be there on Wednesday with him and his family during that moment, to know what he's gone through uh, from childhood all the way up until now, and to have to deal with all the scrutiny in front of the country last year, it was an unbelievable feeling, man, because he deserves everything that he's getting.